Hi folks, uh, this is Hector and welcome to a new video. Today is uh, Monday the uh, 14th of uh, January 2007. It's uh, 10 minutes, uh, 2 minutes past 10 a.m. London time. I've just triggered a short entry on the GBP against the uh, CHF, the sterling pound against the um, against the Swiss franc uh, at uh, 2.13.95. Alright, right there i'm marking it right now on my live screen um let me try to explain what i'm seeing on my charts okay um well today we've had the uh the uh actually let me zoom out a little bit so you can see better what i'm doing here uh, today we've had the uh um, inflation data coming from uh, um well you know coming from england um and the news have been uh, well actually the outcome of the news have been quite uh, um, quite surprising um, the uh, producers inflation has been lower than expected actually by a 0.3 percent which is quite a lot all right it's it's definitely quite a lot and uh, pushes the uh, uh, well the uh, um, interest rates or at least the uh, intention uh, for the uh, bank of england uh, on the next meeting uh, to the downside okay uh, it's been uh, it's been quite a while people have been talking about a possible cut uh, on the interest rates in england and well this sort of uh, this uh, outcome sort of strengthens that uh, that opinion all right um, but anyway, from a technical point of view, um, first of all, uh, well, we can clearly identify the, the downtrend, all right, this, uh, with this beautiful moving average formation, all of them pointing down, etc. Uh, moreover, if we zoom into the 4 hours time frame or, or even farther down, we can see that there is no level of, of uh, support anywhere, you know, throughout the year. I am scrolling back my chart and as you can see, there is absolutely nothing in there that can be, uh, you know, in the middle of the way. Now, if we, uh, this, I was, I was keeping an eye on yesterday, actually, for last Friday's level, which is this level, the uh, uh, 214.25, all right, uh, right there, uh, I was, at, well, you know, I was looking to break that low uh, in order to, uh, well, to see if the trend still keeps pushing price to the downside, that has happened, in in moreover uh, as you can see uh, it's been broken pull back and continuation okay this is the uh, this is the low for last friday's right there uh, like i say uh, 11425 11420 to be exact we had the breakout then we have a one bar pullback i hope you can see it on my screen actually let me zoom in even farther uh, there it is that's the one bar pullback i'm talking about all right and from that well, the entry should have been there, but as usual, when we have a round number right in the middle of the way, what I like is to wait for the round number to give way. Okay, in this case, it was the 214 that below level, right? And I triggered my uh, my short entry five pips below that one, meaning a 213.95. Okay, right there. Um, uh, firstly, I am shooting for the next round number. I'm hoping to ride a momentum breakout of of this round number, and and I'm I'm you know I'm looking forward to seeing price cruising straight away into the next round number. Uh, the two thirteen fifty. Uh, I will exit few pips above as usual, and then at that point, uh, I will simply uh, move stop to break even, which is placed up there, by the way. Okay, move stop to break even, and take half of my position out, and let the second half of the trade run to the next uh, round number at two thirteen double O. Okay. Um, Nothing really, uh, really special about this setup. Uh, I'm, I'm basically uh, um, trading the uh, breakout pullback continuation of a level of uh, of support, okay, in the direction of the moving averages. Okay, we have this level of support. We have the moving averages pointing down. Uh, I, I have spotted the breakout pullback continuation in the short time frames. Triggered my short entry, stop loss up there, first target, second target. You guys have seen me trading this type of setup many times. It's also um, explained in detail in my in my trading course. Um, right now it's eight minutes, six minutes past uh, ten a.m. Uh, London time. Um, I hope to see. Actually, wow! Look at this thing. The, it's, it's definitely carrying. Wow! Look at that! Look at that! Hmm. 
Wow, look at that, guys! It's uh, already uh, 18 pips away from my uh, from my uh, target. In uh, well, I, I opened this trade about eight nine minutes ago, to be exact. Very nice momentum. This is a one bar, uh, a 15 minute bar, okay? This is the 15 minute chart and this is a 15 minute bar, okay? That's why I like to base my my trading uh, entries, intraday trading entries and exits around the round numbers, okay? Once the uh, one round number gives way, uh, always, of course, in the direction of the main turn and in the direction of the breakouts uh, of support and resistance, in my opinion, or at least in my experience, uh, it tends to move uh, f in blocks, okay? It tends to move in swings from one round number right to the next one. At that point, finding some resist, some support in this case, perhaps a little bit of meander, perhaps a pullback, perhaps a breakthrough. Uh, that's why I like to exit half of my lot size there to offset a little bit of the risk. Um, seems like we are going now a little bit of fair retracement right now, but I'm... I'm not overly concerned about it, okay? Um, I'm fairly confident about this setup. And, and like I say, up on the uh, breakout pullback continuation, breakout of the round number, we are seeing quite a momentum move, okay? The uh, uh, Quite a long red bar. Also, it's very early in the day. It's barely uh, 10, 8 minutes right now. 8 minutes past 10 a.m. London time. So, um, still very early plenty of time to uh, um, you know plenty of time to get my to my target so I'm fairly confident in this setup um, that's that's basically it's really I think I've laid out all the elements um, uh, on this trade in well as usual I will keep you guys updated okay I'm pausing the video now bye bye Hi folks, uh, this is Hector. It's uh, 37 minutes past 10 a.m. London time. Um, and well, as you can see, I've just been stopped out on the trade that I had opened on the GBP against the uh, CHF for minus 33 pips. Um, well, what can I say? I've been fooled by this setup. <laughs> it certainly was looking very nice, all right? Um, it, it was looking actually beautifully. Um, Price fell shy about fell shy about 15 pips from my first target, uh, but from there, well, quite a uh, you know quite a momentum retrace back to well um, stop loss level like I say at minus 33 pips. All right, folks, that's all for this video. Um, it's still early in the morning, and I am seeing some other setups, uh, and and this setup indeed is still looking good. So uh, I might not be surprised if if you know if any other any other setup triggers this morning, okay? Alright, bye-bye.